3x lex right back at you with another one all right guys i'm here today to give you a breakdown of the graphic enhancing smoothing effects for the ps1 section for the lex build so let me give you a quick breakdown of how that works so what i'm going to do i'm going to drop the detailed instructions down below in the link that explains step by step how you cut this on in the uh, options menu for the playstation games once you cut it on in retro arch for any of the games you're good to go and there's no other real work to do so without further ado i would like to show you the enhancements and how big of an improvement that these particular PS1 games will have after you basically make these changes. So, you go to one of my favorites, like Bloody Roar 2, it's pretty much a night and day difference. Um, it's like basically going from low res to HD. It's like a big improvement on all of the PS1 games. And uh, it's just night and day. I'm still playing with it with the other platforms. So as for right now, I can't recommend it because it's affecting performance with a lot of other platforms. But for PS1, you can go ahead and, and cut it on for sure. But to show off some of the games, As you guys can probably see, everything's a lot more smoother. Colors are, are brighter, textures are way sharper, and it's just a night and day difference from the original setup of how these games look before any of the improvements or enhancements. So. I can't recommend this feature enough. But it really cleans up a lot of the games because a lot of these games end up looking pretty distorted. Um, but like Wipeout's a big one. As we know, load times are already greatly improved with the Lex build. But like, if you look at the detail, like, it's just night and day, man.
But yeah, it's basically like showing off the PlayStation games and high res now. And like, they look amazing. In fact, they look better than they pretty much look even original games. I had a lot of these games when they were new on CRT TVs, component connections, and they didn't look anywhere near these near this good. But it cleans up a lot of the the issues with these games for sure. You go to one of my other favorites like Eye Hander. But you can see just how sharp that looks compared to like the original game. It's just like tenfold the sharpness. Some of the like really standout visually impressive games like Einhander. Wipeout XL, Total 2, that really take advantage of this. Man, I ain't gonna lie, these almost look like Dreamcast games. And the fact that they were already locked at 60 frames a second when they were new. These basically look like Dreamcast games now. Like, this enhancement is like, huge, man. And like, I have a lot of experience experimenting with enhancements like on hyperspin setups. And like, in my older setup that I had on Hyperspin, I couldn't get this level of uh, clarity and resolution on PS1 games on any other setup, man. Like, what you're getting here is just, it can't be replicated, man. It's just such a huge advantage to running these games. Alright guys, just wanted to show that off to you. 3X to the Lex out. Check the instructions below and I'll get with you on the next one. Peace.